Hi everyone, we're back. We're back. We're going to do some free motion um, applique today and I have a little design for a uh, lion and we're gonna do that, so I hope you enjoy. I will explain as I go along and this is all of course part of the uh, Great International Craft Show. Um, so that is GIX 11. And um, uh, this is uh, class number one for today. So at one o'clock I'll be in the classroom, in classroom one, I think. And um, then after that at three o'clock we'll be back here again. So let's get started and I'll explain to you the tools I've got in front of me and everything. You're gonna hear a little bit of noise in the background because um, they're doing some work there, but uh, hopefully it's not too distracting. So I will um, move the camera down and we'll get started, all right? So you can see more of what I'm doing. All right, so tools, what I have. Um, let me just get my bits and pieces organized on the computer. And hi, Helen. Hi, Carolyn. Welcome, welcome. So I've got some heat and bond, um, which is, this is an ultra hold. So it just holds really, really well. Um, I'm just going to pop that over there. And I've also got some fabric. I've got my background fabric and I've got some fabric for the lion. So they're just there. I also have, obviously, I've got some mats here, but I've got my iron mat. Okay. Then I've also got my applique mat, which is over here. So we need that as well. So what I'm going to do first off is just give the fabric a little quick iron. And um, yeah, we'll go from there, hey. Good morning, everyone. Hi, Janine. Hi, Heather. I haven't got my eyeballs on yet, so it's a bit hard to read from there. Um, so that's going to be my background fabric that my applique is going to sit on. Um, I also need to get some stabilizer. So um, I'll get Mary to grab me some stabiliser from in my junk box. Yep, my junk box. And I'm just going to grab a little bit of this. I don't need a lot because it's only a small project. Pop that aside. So you can use any kind of fusible webbing. Um, they'll all work. And um, that's not fusible though, is it? No, no, like I need the, it's like tear away. It's folded up in there somewhere. Oh, hang on, it might be over there. I'll get it up there. Right, found it. <laughs> yeah, I oh, just need no. tear away. Okay, so first things first, this is the little fella we're going to do here. And we've got our pattern here, and I'm going to trace those designs. And I always trace on the paper side. Time to put my eyeballs on. Hopefully they don't fog up. I'm just going to use a pen. I mean, if you want to do one of these and you want it to look a little bit um, bigger, you can copy it and then enlarge it on your printer. <clears throat> um, and the next one. And this process, I mean, you could also reverse it so that it goes the same way as the actual picture. I don't mind if it's a little bit backwards. That's just me all over, really. Body 
and his arms I should say, so we've got his elbows, and then we've got um, his little mush, so with his mush, he's got like a, a little mouth, sort of that little black thing there, that's not here anywhere, but I'm going to put it, I'm going to create that because I think for me to stitch that out, I think if you're colouring it in, it'd be fine, but stitching it out is another thing. Um, and his little nose is over here. And then we have the outer ear and the inner ear. And we need to have two of each, so you need to trace two of each. So two of the same. So one and two. And then we've got one and two. Okay, that's that done. Then what I do is, um, some people write on it. Oh, you did share it, did you? Thank you. Um, what am I up to? We're going to do a little lion, a little fella right there. So I'm going to do some applique. So what I tend to do is cut out these roughly. I leave quite a bit of a gap around them. And then what I do is I put them into colour se sections. So I'll go right, I need that one there. That's the inner part of his mane. This is the outer part and they are two different colours. Okay, so now I'll sit that one there. So I know that one's going to be black. Okay, and then this one here is going to be that. So I'll sit that with that. Black I'll just leave here because that's black, not that I'm going to use it. Cute at morning tea watching you. Nice. This one here is his face and there his little paws. That's his mush. That's his mouth. <clears throat> and that's his arms. Mary. <laughs> so I'm going to come in and just cut out those. And... Um, cut out them, they're going to be black and they're all going to be the same colour as each other and there is ears, now the inner ear is going to be black and the outer ear is going to be, da, da, da. it's going to be um, the colour of these. Alright, so I'll pop that aside and that aside and this colour, the colour of his main fur is going to be that, okay. Yep, I will be sharing a picture at the end of all this, absolutely. So, just having an overheating moment. Hang on, let's try and unfog the glasses. Okie dokie. So, I'm going to just pop those with that bit of black that I've got there. That's my main piece. And what I do is, find a piece that I haven't got dust on for a start. That'd be great. Give it a quick press. Okay. Then um, what I do is I just grab that, that, and that, and that'll all get ironed down. And just leave it on for about, you know, 10 seconds, 15 seconds or so. So it heats right up because it's quite, this is quite a, a thick one. So I want to make sure it melts that glue. Nice and hot. And then what I do is grab um, my little scissors are next to my other sewing machine, the tiny little rainbow ones. Mary, can you pass them over, love? Thanks, sweetness. Thank you. No need them. That out there. Now with this one, because it's sort of it's got a directional thing to it, I so if I go that way, all the lines are sort of gonna go that way. If I go that way, they go up there. So I'm gonna put it on sort of an angle type thing. So I sort of catch the angle. I might, I might maybe that colour, a bit yellow over there. And just so you can see I'm off the edge. Um, try not to iron onto your actual Iron mat because you'll make a mess. Yeah, Selena, I'm going to be um, sharing a photo of it which you'll be able to just um, 
save and print out. So yeah, I will absolutely do that for you. Um, yeah, so definitely. Like I did with the duck. Alright, so that's that one done. And I mean, you can use just plain more ordinary fabrics. I like to use batik if I can, because batiks are really, really um, good for, um, oh, that's not, I can't use that one, it's a bag. Hang on. Yeah, that's a bag. I'm gonna use that one. Let's see if I've got enough, but it should have heaps. So, um, yeah, so um, what was I going to say? Yeah, so batiks I like using. So these will fray. This one won't fray like the other. Okay. So now they're on. I can now start cutting out these little pieces and these scissors are the best for it. These are the little um, thread scissors that I've got, the rainbow ones I had, um, had made, handmade, and uh, they will get into all those little crevices as well, and they do, and they're nice and sharp. So if you're after these and you don't already have them, I have them in stock and they're 25 a pair. He did make them especially for us. So once I get these cut out, this is the longest part. This is the part that takes forever. Okay, then, then we can start putting it together and I'll zoom in. You don't really need to see me doing this up close. You know how to cut out on a line or next to a line or a roundabout. So did everyone enjoy the videos yesterday? Should go and see some of the other girls. Can I have a pair of rainbow scissors please? Sure, that would be Marlene Fracas, absolutely. Um, Chelsea, you want to write that down? Marlene Fracas would like a pair of $25 scissors, these little fellows. Thanks. Uh, just put rain, rainbow um, thread scissors. And then I'll know. Um, yesterday was great. I'm enthusiastic about having a go. Awesome, awesome. Did you see um, Lynette Borg? How amazing was that? First time ever, free motion quilting, and she nailed it. Crazy. Some people are just too bloody clever. Took me months and months and months to learn how to do it. Just couldn't get the whole um, jig of it. And then once I, once it penny dropped, I was right. get my tweezers I think. Can I have the set needle threaders? Um, Heather Elrich, Heather E would like um, the needle threaders please, the three dollar ones. Uh, I love the classes yesterday, very helpful. Can I also have a pair of rainbow scissors please? That's Janine Round, Rounds. Um, so Janine Rounds would also like a pair of the rainbow ones. The yeah the same as um, Marlene. Wow. Wow. Tiny little farts they are, aren't they? Was the other one of thread on the thread cutter? Thread um needle threaders. Needle. Yeah. Alright. Bigger pieces, much quicker.
mum, I uh, have mum at doctor's, so I've moved myself to car to wash a <laughs> bit. No worries, Carolyn. I hope mum's okay today, darling. Good morning Sue, just doing a bit of uh, applique, just going through the process of getting it ready to make and um, show you how easy it is to use the, um, the applique mat and, and we're going to sew them together on our jack machine, I've got a hair under there and a bear as well. Um, <coughs> And um, Mary just laughed. <laughs> um, good morning, darling. I'm watching in the car too while my daughter is at the doctor's too. <laughs> oh, our kids and parents, they must love us. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, I hope everyone's well health-wise other than that. Bloody windy here today. I had the lovely Adele ring me this morning um, at some ungodly hour there on the beach because she's seen that I was on I was up and um, <laughs> they're on the beach watching the sun come up. This is better than the COVID update on <laughs> that's on waiting room. <laughs> yeah, well that's true. Yeah, very true. Yeah. People seem to think that, all uh, well, these media seem to think that that's all we want to hear about, really. All right. And we've got one more. The big kahuna is big main. And like I say, you can find all sorts of things, um, any fabric you like, um, and bits and pieces. So you can do these with. It doesn't have to be exactly what I'm doing. And you can enlarge it or whatever. I wouldn't go any smaller, it's tiny enough as it is. I'm going to get Mary to find me a variegated green thread from the, the stand soon. Not right now. When I finish doing the stitching. So I hope the background noise is not too loud, I hope. Um, I'm trying to raw edge applique on quilt on Jack at moment, failing miserably. Okay, why failing, sweetheart? What do you think is fun? So your raw edge applicating, um, is it just the quilt top or is it... Um, have stabilizer behind it. Ah, someone needs to turn their phone off. Yes. Thanks. That's what I was trying to do. All right, that's all my little bit of scraps. Okay. So now what I want to do is just get this back. And I need, I'm just going to put them all together in a pile so I don't lose the little darlings. Because they're tiny. I can just tell what's going to happen. So I'm just going to hop in there, move that over. Do you know what that is? And then I'm going to cut so straight. Uh, you might be going too slow. If you're going really slow with free motion, anything, um, is it free motion or you're just stitching? Because if you're going really, really, really slow, it's harder to keep straight, like, you know. Why is it taking that? Um, yeah. 
So I'm just going to move the camera. Sorry, just do that. And to back her up a little bit. Sorry, Ness, you're going to probably need to. Yeah. There we go. It's a bit closer for you. Um, no, just stitching around 100 leaves. Oh, okay, just with the foot. Okay. Yeah, you'd have to go slow. You might want to turn your. You might, you might have to go slow. So, um, if you're just using the, the normal foot, yeah. Yep. Um, okay, so applique mat. We need this. We need our picture. Okay, you can put it there or you can pop it underneath. Whatever suits. Okay, and I can see through it and I can see in there. Okay. You need your pieces and I am going to use this. I'm going to grab a pin. Meal time soon for mum as she needs to eat at time. Yeah, no dramas. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is again separate them into their colours. And separate them out so I can see what I've got. That, oops, that, that, those little parts, little darlings, <laughs> that and that. All right, well, I know that's going to go there, okay? But I know that I've also got to create the face first too, so that I can put it onto the back of that, and then this will go on top of that as well. So all I, all I need to do now is just take the back off this one, so just score it with a pin, fold it over, and that paper will come off nice and easy. It's a very quick tri uh, tip, and it works really well. And then just press that on, and you don't have to do a huge, like, long press for this at the moment. Um, this one here, I'm just going to take the paper off, that doesn't need to be there. And that can just sit there for now. Then we've got the face. So here's the face. The face. Um, there. And we need the arms, the elbows. So grab this one. time to see what you've got to do and I need to put those little paws I'm just gonna make sure they've got to go yep on top of the face these should just oops, stays. just fold and come off and if not doesn't matter I'll use the pin okay nice so that's one paw Okay, and we'll pop that one just there. So they just sit over the top of each other. And that is a hair in there, and a bear as well, is that what I said before? Right. Those two there, just like that. Okay, then we've also got some ears and a mush. I'm going to lift that baby up and just move it aside. I'm going to get the mush and just peel it back. And that's his mush. 
there. And that's his little mouth. And then we need his little nose. Now this is tiny. Little nose. That way. Come on, little nose. There we go. Stick that baby down. Okay. Pick up his mush. Pick up his face. Pop that down. Put his mush right there. I might just see if I can lift up that little paw again. I think I can. I might have stuck it down too hard. Come on, baby. Yeah, you can stay like that. And that can go there. Stick them together. Then you've got your little ears. So. putting them away from the actual piece. If you've got any questions, please feel free to ask. You can interrupt at any time. And these tweezers are so fine. They can just about grab a thread of the, the actual fabric. So that can go like that. And these are even smaller. Those have already got their little tweezers. I hope you like them. This one here. That there. And this one here. And this is where you don't want to be in a room with someone who's coughing. Because if they're coughing, they're going to have to buy you stuff together <laughs> everywhere. One there, it's like a bit of a jigsaw puzzle. They look like eyes, don't they? All right, just pop that down on top just to hold them together. Now lift up his head, pop his little ears there, one there, and one there. Because I've got the picture underneath, I can see the placement, that's nice and easy. If I had to put all that down, I wouldn't be able to see the placement, so I've left that up for a reason. Alright, so now I can turn around and go, okay, that goes there. Then this little part goes over here, like that. And we iron him together. Are you going to free motion that? Yes, I am. Yep, we're going to do some free motion applique right now. I'm just uh, heating up that glue again and sticking it back down. So when I pick it up, it should all come up as one piece. Which it does. Now there's little bits of thread there. I might just heat that glue up on that a bit. underneath so I don't burn the paper and don't burn anything just in case I feel happy now <laughs> Nice. 
nice. Okay. So, I can move my applique mat. It is cute, isn't it? It's worked out really well. Nice, cute little one. Come on, rubbish. Yeah, move over there. Back over there. Over there. Over there. Alright, so what we need is just over there. Massive piece of tape, fabric for that. And just have your eye on that. What happened to the picture? It's all yucko. Oh, it'll be the applique mat. It'll go funny. Um, so this is the fabric here. Obviously, I'm not going to use all of that, um, but now this will work. Alright. So I'm going to place him right there because I've got a bit of a plan. It'll be the the pattern on the on this. It'll send the screen a bit funny sometimes, and it's very very windy here today. I don't know how my reception is going to be all day today. So, can be up and down, might, might be a little bit up and down. I was in the garden and didn't know you were on live. What are you making? <laughs> I'm doing a little line. It's an applique, that little fella there. And um, I'm going to stitch him down. Oh, looks like I lost your glue to my little piece there. There's the ease on us. Yeah, the glue's come off. If that happens and you have something come off, just lift up and pop a pin in it. Most of you know that already, but just in case you haven't done it before, so make sure that you, you know what to do. It's fairly thick, so I might sort of crack it, but I'll get rid of some of those little fairy bits at the edge of it. But see how it's black? The black will fray as soon as I pull on it. Right, so the rest should be stuck down nicely and we're going to just put oh, there's glue on my oh, glue on my finger we're going to do this it's adorable isn't it isn't he cute so far so cute he's got a pin up his bum i mean up his nose um <laughs> how do you store your applique mat um janine you can roll it fold it whatever you like it doesn't matter you can't break them you can fold them over sometimes when we pack them we'll fold them um they're perfectly fine yeah i could carolyn yeah yeah i just don't think i've got a glue stick handy no no um boo do you want to have a look in that top drawer for me for a glue stick please love that might be handy might try that um then what we're going to do is just grab some two-way tear away so uh, yeah just tar love thank you my tweezies. To do. Sorry? I have nothing to do. Oh, okay. Is it lunchtime? Yeah. Can I have a lunch? Not yet? Okay. So, pop that under there. This glue will dry clear. And I do have these in stock. They're seven dollars each, and refills at three. FYI, if anyone needs them, um, you can then pop heat on them if you want to, but you don't really need to. I think I've got a bit of glue on the eye. Like glue on my eye. How rude! All right, so I'm just going to cut a bit of two-way tear away. I do actually have, boo, I do actually have a list of two-way tear-away in the back order section, I think. You can cut, okay, okay. Um, you can cut the back orders of the black and the white. I did the white. You did the white. Um, 
And there's also two-way tearaway. So you, so tiny, could you make? Yes, absolutely. So like I said at the start, you can, um, if you might have missed that at the start, you can actually just make it larger by when you print it out, just enlarge it. That's fine. But when you see what I'm going to do with it, you're going to be like, oh my god, that's so cute. All right. Just make sure it's all glued down nicely. I only really need a little bit under there, so I'm thinking I might just even just grab that corner. Pop that aside. So it's just enough to cover that thing. Okay, now um, I'm going to grab a couple of pins, just pin that down because I can feel it underneath, but I don't want it to move around on me too much. I'll help Chelsea do her thing because you need to do something. Okay, also I'm going to let you know that I'm going to do the eyeballs as well. And I'll just pop it in with a bit of pen because I'm going to stitch over it. Now his eyeballs on the thing are really tiny. I'm going to make them a little bit bigger. And one there and one there. And that's what they're going to be. on his little mush but um, okay no worries I don't know what that is I might get a black marker and colour it in um, hang on let me find one colour that in because I don't know what it is that just freaks me out alright there we go okay Kathy. hi Louise alright so now we're ready to take it to the machine. So this is the one, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take it to the machine and stitch her out. Now, the other thing I have um, here that I'm doing is, yeah. oh my gosh. hang on. My friction pen, because it'll come off and I'm not sure if it'll, goes there. And these little lines in his paws. That there. That's pretty much it. The rest of it is sort of what it is. Yep. Yeah, that's all good. The rest of it will be stitching. Alright, so there you go. Put his little paw lines on and his little mouth. We'll take it over to the machine. I'll um just take you over here and zoom in a bit more. I'm going to change my thread back to a rosant and let me come over here. What time is it? Nearly 12. Can you go to the page and tell me what I'm doing at three? Michelle. He's a little bit cute, isn't he, uh, Louise? Very cute, Siggy. So you guys will get this pattern. Shitty freebie. Um, I'm just going to do this. Right, 
gloves on. And I do have white underneath. Might actually get my same time. It shouldn't show through. I'm going to slow it right down. Hi Francis. It's around about 500 because I don't want to go 100 mile an hour. But I'm literally going to go around every part of him in black. Print printed. So grab the thread. I'm going to start on this face. So I've just got to see where I am. There it is. I'm just going to put my needle down. I see how this machine likes doing just the two layers. It might crack it. I'm not sure. Being so thin, it should be alright. <laughs> So I like to go over two or three times. So I'm just going around here again. Do that. That was a little bit long, but anyway, she be right. Do this now and get that stitch down before it falls off again. And his little nose. And in, you're going to have shredding. It's just uh, like um, fraying because it's raw edge and it's not um, blanket, blanket stitch. Um, but in saying that, um, you can trim those little bits and all that stuff um, at a later time. That's no issue. Issue. Right, let me go around this head now. That's what I'm supposed to do before and I cross. I did tighten up the tension. But it should do the job. Once I put the, the wadding and that behind, after I've done this part, it'll look really cute. It'll, um, it'll, sorry, the stitching will go really, really well. So when I go to the, the fatigue, you'll see it doesn't fray. Just does not fray. Not like this if this white and black is or cream and black. Having trouble, it keeps pausing. Okay, it shouldn't be. Um, maybe uh, log out and log back in again, Irene. You won't miss too much. I'm just going to do that black bit around. Just put it around his ear again. Yeah, like I said, it's it's very very windy here today. It like really windy, like crazy windy. So it wouldn't surprise me if we have reception issues, issues, to be honest. You can hear that, that noise in the background is the wind. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna do his little arms, shoulders. I 
and like I say, just go around a couple of times and be sure that you miss the previous stitch so it makes it look like it's meant to be that way. Just a pause. Around. Go around a couple of times and then give him his little toes. Easy windy, isn't it, Boo? Shocking. And his other little foot. And then we're going to do the outer thing. And you can tell I'm going really, really slow. I'm not going, and you can see the little bits of white popping through, but I'm not really worried about it. It should be right. Okay, but you can see that the boutique's not fraying at all. It lifts, but that's okay because you've got to go around a second time and you'll catch it on the second one, but it's not fraying. Okay, so let's cut that off. Um, actually, what I can do is just lift up the needle. It's blowing like crazy here too. Is the ditching on this the same as when we did the koalas? Did Stitching, the yes. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. It did the same, yes. Oh, did it, Irene? That's, that that's um, maybe, that maybe it is uh, your end, maybe, just maybe. All right. Needle down, I'm going to do the eyeballs. So I'm literally going to colour it in. And go a little bit faster with this one and just colour it in. And lift the needle up, lift your foot, go across to the next one. Needle down. And this is basically freehand embroidery. <laughs> When you're doing little eyeballs and things like that, that's what cool. Right, so we're just colouring in using the thread. Lift up, up, I said. Take that out. Okay. Let's trim off these little bits. Now, you can leave that in if you want to, or you can get rid of it. I tend to pull out as much as I can, but I don't go berserk. Um, you know, if I had a little bit stuck in there, it doesn't really matter. It's going to go in the... It'll just stay in there. It doesn't matter. Alright, so that one now. And that one now. Alright, and then with the little wispy bits, um, you can get in and just give another little trim if you want to. You could be there forever doing that. Um, yeah, it sort of depends on everyone's individual sort of likes or dislikes. So. Alright, 
it won't come undone because I've done about two or three stitches around it. Okay, so that's him so far. Now, let's do the next step. Um, I'll get that green thread, green variegated thread. That'd be awesome. So the thread I'm going to use is a Mirage. I'm going to swap it over. And I'm going to get some backing. I'm going to take these pins out. So take them out. That one and another one. And I'll keep one in my hand. Oops, a dose. That was me. Take that stuff off. Light and dark. Tweezers. And these will pick it out really easy. Okay. It'll just uh, scratch along it. Get them out. Little bits of paper everywhere. Come on. Sharp. It's great. Every time I use them, I get surprised at how sharp, like how pointy they are. He's cute, isn't it, Suzanne? Yeah, try and get these little bits out. Grab some wadding. I'll just move that camera a bit so you can see what I'm doing. Let's grab some wadding. I'm going to just need those big scissors for two seconds, just so I can cut this wadding. Did you open it? Yes. Oh, these are mine. Oh, there we go. Done. These are so big. Okie doke. So, I've got some wadding behind it. Pop it that way. Um, he's a little bit of a cutie, yeah. <laughs> and uh, backing. Rubbish everywhere. Backing can go there. So, you're going to love what I'm going to do to him next. All right. Um, let me just move the camera. So you can see, zoom in, oops, wrong way, there we go, you ever get a real bird's eye. Okie doke, I'm going to change this thread and I'm changing it to a number 02, so it's a, it's a Mirage 02. Oh, that was a bit dusty, thank god they've got a cover on them. Um, and you know how you can never find the end of these? <laughs> I love these tweezers. I just found the end. So it is that color. Probably looking at me going, what the heck are you using? It's green. It's green. Needle up. Yeah. I think I've 
broke the thread right up in there. Get ready. Lucky green, yeah. <laughs> I think I need a pair of those tweezers added to my order, says Carolyn O'Brien. <laughs> okay, tweezers. Okay, oh. Carolyn O'Brien, I have purple and blue. I'm just getting my computer up and running while I was thinking about life in general. There it is. Um, it needs to refresh, I think. Um, are you doing some leaves around? Look like a jungle, maybe. <laughs> I reckon that's the way to do it, don't you? All right, let's thread this. Um, they're sitting in the grass, a pair of those tweezers. Yep, Carol and O'Brien, yep. Okay, I've got everyone's comments there, good, good. Let's get this, oh, hang on, I've got to go through there first. In there, there we go. I've got such big clumsy hands, honest to God. I'm such a doofus. There we go, got that in. There we go. Yeah, so that's colour number 02. If you like that green, you wanted to purchase this, it's 02. Or just number 2. Please check to see if tweezers are in my order when you have time. Yes, Michelle um, Armstrong. Tweezers. Yes, please just check for tweezers, is all you have to write. Yep. Alright. Okay, put that to the side, that up on my little holder, my, my scissor holder. Um, how much are the tweezers? Uh, Lynette Cherry, they're only $8, darling. Alright, so make sure that's alright. Okay, now, um, if you wanted to, this is a time you could draw some things here. I'm going to sort of just go by it, the seat of my pants. I haven't changed my bobbin. I need to chew that first. <laughs> Otherwise I'll have bits of white everywhere. Um, and uh, oh, and how lucky was that right on the end of that bobbin. <laughs> look at that, look. Look at that. I just finished it's like six inches of thread. That was lucky. All right. And because I love my Jack, she, she she wound that up while I was waiting. I was sewing, I should say. All ready to go. Pop that straight in. <coughs> Gotta hear that click. Gonna try now. Okay, so I'm going to just sort of go by the seat of my pants, really, says <laughs> Kitchen. <laughs> you sound so surprised. Um, I'll just bring that thread up just because I know it's long. And uh, I'm going to speed up my machine. I'm just going to make a little knot. Back and forth there a little bit. And trim that off. Alright, there. <coughs> Alright. You ready? Dun, dun, dun. Sorry, I missed how much the tweezers were. Had a phone call. That's all right. They're eight dollars. Thank you, Heather.
just going to turn this around just so I can have one. I'm going to come around this way across the others. Heather, can I grab a pair of scissors? So Lynette Cherry? Which scissors? Which one's that one? Uh, no, sorry, not scissors, a um, pair of uh, tweezers, sorry. Yep. Lynette Cherry? Did you say what No. And Suzanne Moore would like two. Two pairs? Yeah, for Suzanne Moore and one for Lynette okay. Cherry, yep. Purple tweezers for Heather E. Ta yeah, one ear out, thanks. Uh, purple tweezers for Heather E. And needle threader pack, please, for Christine Skeen. Uh, not me needle, me thread. I'm too fast. Could I please get purple from the net cherry? Yep. facing downwards by the way just FYI because I tried that twice without the hook facing down just saying I'd like to thank the girls in the back office you do a wonderful job says Lynette Cherry <laughs> I'm sure they'd love Thank to you. hear that. Yeah, they've got to race around after us all. <laughs> They're racing around after me, after you guys. I should take some photos of the room down there. You should you'd die if you saw it. enough. Oh, we can have a bit of thread go. There it is. Um, now I'm going to change back to black. Uh, your assistant is very skilled at multitasking, packing orders and writing down new orders. <laughs> um, the girls do a lovely job in the background. They've um, got a big job ahead of them because it's, uh, the business is only getting busier and busier. So we're not quietening down at any time. So there you go. So that's what it looks like. Can you see him? 
Boo. <laughs> okay, um, you would have lost, you'd be lost without, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing. You <laughs> absolutely would not be doing it without the people in the background. Yep, absolutely. So um, now I'm going to, actually I might just trim that down. I'll do that right now. Girls, don't be silly. Um, and um, then we'll... where my blade is. Him is beautiful. <laughs> He's cute. All right, so I'm just going to trim him down. So then, um, two purple tweezers for Christine Skeen, please. Just going to leave a bit of an edge so I can. If it wants to be stitched in at any time. I want that cut close so that it goes in the seam. There. Okay, so there's some black background area. Um, there you go. There he is, little fella. So if you wanted to, um, you could do the black background and just normal stitching, like they're just a stipple or whatever, or you can leave it, doesn't matter. Makes no difference. Um, but I might stop for today because it only gives me around about oh, half an hour between the now and the next one. So that is that done. For now um, and uh, maybe on our next um, free motion quilting one we'll do the the background so he is very cute isn't he so I'd like to thank you for um, joining me um, just zoom that back in thank you for joining me and the girls because uh, you know they're in the background working hard and um, <laughs> Mary's on the computer the girls are wrapping ribbons because we've got some coming up soon Look, beautiful. <laughs> um, so they've been busy doing that. And um, I will see you, hopefully, uh, I love him, I know, one little lady who, that would love him. Really? Who? Um, and um, I will um, be going to uh, be live at one o'clock in the classroom and I've got to remember what I'm doing next. What am I doing next? Mary's going to tell me. Um. Anyone? Rulers? No, I did rulers no. yesterday, didn't I? Uh, where are you? Facebook, Michelle. You are doing at 1 pm stencils. Stencils! Whoop whoop! Love stencils. And then this afternoon at 3, we're going to do a pre printed panel. You're going to like that one. Do, do, do. Um, so, Boo Bear. Who's Boo Bear? It's not a bear. It looks like, you know, it looks like. It does look yeah. like Boo Bear, doesn't it? Yeah. But it is a lion. My granddaughter, she loves to watch when you do your things on does she, Lynette? Oh, <laughs> Awesome. So, well, there you go. So that's how you do them. That's, you can then just decorate it any way you like. Um, I mean, you didn't have to. You could add other animals next to him, like a giraffe or whatever. But, you know, he looks cute enough. Um, I will see you guys at 1 o'clock. If you're not there, I'll see you next time. See ya.